Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super excited that you're here. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Question for you. Have you found your twin flame? You're like, what is a twin flame? Cha, I don't know. That's what we're talking about today. So inspired by the in-depth Vanity Fair investigation into Twin Flames Universe, which is an alleged online love cult. That sounds scary yet intriguing, right? And there comes a three-part series on Prime Video, and it's called Desperately Seeking Soulmates, Escaping Twin Flames Universe. And it's going to be premiering again on Prime Video on Friday, October 6th. And so in the house today to discuss the Vanity Fair investigation that led to this docuseries is the journalist, Alice Hines. So you don't want to miss today's show. And you know, I'm sure you want to know if your twin flame is either laying next to you or if that's who you are texting or whatever the case is. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hi, Alice. Welcome to Check the Rhymes. How are you? Hey there, Shamika. Thanks for having me. I am so intrigued about this entire docu-series, Desperately Seeking Soulmate, Escaping Twin Flames Universe. And I read your investigation, so I'm just curious for the people that didn't read the investigation, can you give us an overview about what they can expect when they see this docu-series? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Twin Flames Universe is the subject of the docu-series, and this is an organization that tells people it can help them find love. Um, and it's run by a married couple, uh, Jeff and Shalia, who are in love, and they say that you know if you follow their teachings and if you pay them money, you can have what they have. And they call the one true love a twin flame, right? That's what people are looking for who join the organization. They're looking mm -hmm. to find their twin flame. Wow, I've seen, um, just scrolling through YouTube and sometimes even on social media, I've seen people talking about their twin flame. So what is a twin flame? Yeah, so a lot of people are interested in this idea of twin flame, even like celebrities talk about it, like Megan Kelly says, um, sorry, Megan Fox says Machine Gun Kelly is her twin flame. And um, so this is like a po as, as becoming a more popular idea. And so basically what it is, is almost like a very spiritual soulmate. So a twin flame is the other half of your soul, like someone that you're created for, that you're destined to kind of be with across multiple lifetimes. That's at least what some people believe. Wow. I've always, when I've read it, I've always kind of thought it was kind of scary just because it was like, it, I've seen things where it says it will trigger you and take you all down these like roads of, and, and then, you know, you're not meant to be together for a long time. And then you come back at different parts of your life. I was like, it sounds tiring and, and exhausting. <laughs> Yeah, so, there is like some know. aspect of kind of push and pull to what a lot of people believe is the twin flame relationship. And they're supposed to teach you something about yourself. Um, so a lot of times, you know, people who are in relationships are that are maybe toxic might wonder, well, is that because they're my twin flame? Is that why we're having all this struggle? So that's definitely something that, um, you know, a lot of people think about and that I, and that I think the leaders of the organization our docuseries is about, I mean, they take advantage of that vulnerability of people who are struggling in their love life. Wow. So when you how did you find these people, the, the whole twin flame, twin flames universe? Like, where did you find this cult? Yeah, so I, I've been a reporter for over a decade and I really like to cover stories that are about um, culture, but almost like fringes of culture and internet culture. So I was looking online for story ideas and I came upon some people on Reddit posting about this organization called Twin Flames Universe and just the level of obsession of how people were so devoted to this idea of finding their twin flame and also so devoted to these teachers, Jeff and Shalia, like really really struck me and so I joined their private Facebook group and I saw like all kinds of stories people who were you know saying that twin flames um, you know helped them cure their fear of flying and that it you know made their lives so much better but then I also saw the um, one of the leaders Jeff I saw him make a post calling himself the master Christ and everyone was commenting on it oh. being like yeah this is great like master Christ and I was like whoa what is going on here Wow. Yeah, I've, I've seen in the even with the law of attraction community, just I've gone down that as a journalist, gone down that rabbit hole, too. And I've seen where a lot of people are saying, you're you are God. You're the one that can do this, you're, you know, and it kind of 
it's a lot that people become obsessed with with this idea of finding love and and i think it's they just want someone there to say yes you can have this too that's so exactly yeah I, right. I can't wait to see this <laughs> no absolutely and I, I don't know how much time we have but i think there's something important so, there's something similar around the law of attraction because one of the things that twin flames universe teaches is that if you haven't found your twin flame or if you're having a problem in your love life or even just in general in your life you're supposed to look inward and do something called the mirror exercise to kind of find out what you personally are responsible for that's maybe causing the issues in their in your life so there's a big emphasis on kind of of taking responsibility and that can sometimes be good for people but the problem is mm -hmm. not everything that happens to us that's bad is actually our fault right like sometimes someone breaks right. up with us or maybe this is a horrible situation but it's happened with people in the organization you know their partner is beating them right and that's not their fault and so if you're part of an organization right. that's saying you know this person's your twin flame and you know whatever's happening is actually something you are spiritually causing and that you need to look at the causes in yourself you can understand how that can lead to abuse. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank you for, for coming on the show today because Desperately Seeking Soulmate, Escaping Twin Flames Universe sounds absolutely exciting. And it premieres Friday, October 6th on Prime Video. Thank you, Alice. I cannot wait to, to find out more about this docuseries. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you so much for having me.